first stop of the day in Ayatea, Thailand. Wat Chai Mong Ko. Okay, let's go. One of the stupas. They got these crazy little tuk-tuks. I've never seen these tuk-tuks like this before. Pretty cop. James the main courtyard. Main stupa. To go up. To go up. Up and up and up. Just inside the cherry. Okay, we're up on the patio now. The main one is up there. Just went inside and you can look over. It's kind of pretty though. Just outside of Bangkok. That's a big Buddha. Probably 40 feet tall. Well, they actually live in these little, the little houses on the barge so the family will stay right there. it along tourist boat everybody buys these little things and feed to the fish <laughs> and 
dirty water. There's no fish in there though. Okay, so third stop of the day, Wat Chai Na. Watana. Watana. Chai Watana. Wat chai, wat, wat chai Watana. So still in Ayatea. Finally, some blue sky. Okay, so apparently you go across the street behind me. You can rent the costumes and then everybody goes out and does their little Instagram poses in the traditional Thai costume. So they all want to get their Instagram shot. So it's kind of funny. So this is all the, the shops on the other side of the road. You can go rent the costumes and then you come over here and do your poses. They have all the little shops. It's kind of cute. And a lot of these have been. Oh, this one's in rough shape. Pause right here. You can read it. Doesn't say any age. Boy, this one's in rough shape. <laughs> There's the tour bus beat right there, shaped like a boat. Or is that a boat? That's water over there or not. So there's been so much rain. This is the rainy season, but they got all the barriers up to help protect from the flooding. At least the park here. But you can see on the other side they got the walls up there too. Already got the pump set up, ready to ready to go. Same place over there where we were with the fish. So from the riverside. You can smell them. Here's the bat. Little cluster of them right there can focus. Ugh. They're just up in the ceiling inside one of these, but everything's in pretty rough shape. Ladies doing their their modeling, but that's just up inside one of these. The bats get up in there. You can smell the ammonia. They're doing some restoration on some of these, but it's kind of hard. What do you do? You just leave them be, or do, do you try to restore them? Because some of these are in rough shape. They've got the entrances shut off. I think to keep the bats out, because the bat, the ammonia from the bats is horrible. 
every one of the Buddha heads are gone. I think people, can, you know, they can break into here pretty easy and they've probably been stolen for years and years and years. But it's just kind of sad. But, and they got some funding from America, the U.S. Embassy of Thailand, looks like, to do some work on this. The Fine Arts Department, Ministry of Culture, Thailand, and World Monuments Fund are partners on the ongoing conservation activities of Wat Chaiwatanaram, one of the most important temples in Ayatea Historical Park. In response to the cat catastrophic floods, it inundated the site in 2011 and caused widespread damage. The project will survey, assess, and document current conditions. Oh, that's why. That's why they got all the blockade up. Is it just floods here every year? And in the background, right in that crack, you can see the wall over there. They've got all the way around. So. Well, that's good. Because you don't get these just everywhere, but that's what destroys it. The plants living up in there. And the ladies doing there. All the heads sitting in somebody's house. doing her selfie her Instagram have some bats see the poo oh pigeons not bats on this one Whew. Yeah. pigeons are worse than the bats Should I go photobomb them? <laughs>